Welcome to the Power Chamber Podcast, uh, sponsored by the color green. This is the first thing what? that I saw. Wait, where? Right here. <laughs> oh, it says green. It doesn't say grease. Oh. It says green lighting, not grease lightning. Oh. oh. I was really confused. You know how <laughs> I know? Like, you know how I know that? That's because my that's shirt. shirt. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. I got it. When okay, I was in so that that makes yeah. actually a lot of sense now. Yeah, I thought you were going crazy, man. No. I thought you lost it, man. You're Sponsored just... by the color green and the number Dean Koontz. There's a book over there. The number Dean Koontz. Odd uh, Thomas book. Probably should take that out. Yeah, or yeah, to- Odd Thomas. There's an Odd Thomas novel over there by Dean Koontz. That's the first one. It's the first one. And called Odd Thomas. Then once I get that, I shall purchase the other books and read them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I. Uh, I've got a couple of books on my agenda to read. I'm reading, rereading Red Dragon because I haven't read it in a few years, and then uh, I'm reading a novel that he gave me, The Haunting. Yeah, hmm. yeah. So my bookshelf is kind of full right now. See, I got uh, two Alex Cross books that I'm reading, uh-huh. and I just finished the Shane Dawson book, which was actually pretty oh, damn funny. Really? I was planning on watching <laughs> yeah. his movie that's on Netflix. He has a oh, movie. Oh, uh, not cool. Yeah, I have that. You could. Oh, oh. is that Smiley? No, no Smiley cool. isn't his. Oh. He stars in it, but it's, it's not, not his. his. He stars in it? Yeah. yeah. He's it, the... Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So Michael Gallagher is the one who did uh, Smiley. Okay. Yeah, and Michael Gallagher does a lot of film shit on YouTube. But yeah, Smiley, he just starred in uh, Not, not, not cool, cool is the he movie like that he made. Directed, yeah. Yeah. He made it. Okay. And so I got, I got, I got, the, I got the two Alex Cross books, finished the Shane Dawson book. I got the, the other YouTuber book, uh, The Haunting of Sunshine Girl. Which, By Paige McKenzie. Yes. Oh, yeah, we were talking about this. Okay, so for those who don't know uh, The Haunting of Sunshine Girl, it is a YouTube channel that started back up in 2009, if I may be correct. I don't know. It just randomly popped up. It was about a girl, but she didn't use her real name. She said her name was Sunshine. Mm-hmm. And she would have weird ghost activity in the house. And it was really funny because I was watching it, and I'm like, oh, I get it. It's a fake YouTube with a fake actor doing this stuff. Nobody knew that. Uh, they all thought it was real at first. Uh, <laughs> and after it got into about 2010, they're like, oh. Because once you see her mother, her mother is actually a famous... Uh... <laughs> Things that go bump in the night are afraid to read this book. Things but, uh, that lurk beneath the bed. Cry pretty sure Wes others. Craven doesn't sound like Wes Craven does not sound like that at all. <laughs> you, Apparently her mother is like... Slowly morphing into the Wishmaster there. Apparently her well, mother... Yeah, Wes Craven. Yeah. yeah. Apparently her mother is like a famous actor, and so they got the power to do this. And oh. So it's, I think... Wes Craven gave a uh, comment or a quote on the back of the book is why we brought him up. Yeah. For anybody wondering, because they can't see us. Are <laughs> yeah. Are all signs on here too, but... Yeah. I, I'm kind of interested to read it, and I'm curious to see how it's written. So, And then I got... I would like to credit the Goosebump books, if I may. Go ahead. Why? Because they're good. Okay. They're, they're like... They're... they're um, how many are there? Versatile. How yeah. many are there? They, they don't get enough credit. A lot, man. Can you actually Google I know, that? I know there are... How know. many Goosebump books are there? Oh, shit. That's a lot. Dude. Yeah, no, I know, but I don't want to... To the list internet! Them. I just want a number... I just want to know how many there are, because I'll, I'll well, list many, off a few hold of Hold on, hold on, let's, let's, let's make a game out of this. Sure. Na- okay, we'll start with Nick first. Go. Name how many, name... Name, uh, name titles. No, t- name as many titles of a Goosebumps book that you can. Oh, crap. Okay. So, Night in Terror Tower... Uh, son of a bitch. I don't yeah. know why I completely <laughs> forgot the rest of them. Uh, Werewolf of Fever Swamp. There you go. The Night of the Living Dummy, parts one and two. I don't know if they're part There are one. three of them. Okay, part... Are there three books? There are three of them. Okay. Um, the Haunted Mask. I almost said The Haunted Mansion. Um, yeah. yeah, I was thinking that too. God damn it. Uh, Stay Out of the Basement. Yeah, that's a good one. And what's the other one? There's a couple other ones that I remember seeing. I can't remember what they're called, though. Ah. Uh, oh. Is that it? Oh, Is that all you got? I, I have one more. I just can't really think of it. Oh, the freaking Haunted Mask 2. I don't know if that's a book, though. It is a book. Okay. Yeah, I read it. Oh, is it good? It's all right. Um, there are more. 
Well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna answer this because I'm looking at a bunch of books right now. So um, only you and him get to. Oh, book. okay. And then Fine. all right. So I, Nick yeah. got six, 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 six. And okay, six. so you keep counting mine. All right. So there's the uh, Cuckoo Clock of Doom. Fuck. Yeah. Monster Blood. There you go. Um, it came from beneath the sink. Yep, that's one. That's a good one. Um, I, that one's pretty weird, but yeah. It's really uh, the Phantom of the Auditorium. That's one. Oh yeah. Uh, is it Radioactive Man? Is what it's called. Mm-hmm. About the superhero. Radioactive man. Mm, we can look it up. Man, I um, I was trying to remember Kuku Clock of Doom because I've actually read that one. Yeah, no, it's really good. Yeah. Um. Oh. Right, hold on. What did I say? I said, oh, uh, Welcome to Horrorland. That's a good one. Uh, no, you're wrong. No. Okay. All right. Uh, that's five. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. I say you said, oh I already said monster blood yeah um, my hairy adventure my yeah, hairiest adventure that's the one yeah. I was trying to think of that one too <clears throat> um, I, I, I was like uh, hairy afternoon <laughs> no my, my uh, hairiest adventure that's that's the that's the other one and then uh, I only need one more to beat you yeah so Come that's on, why I just... like I just need one more um if you've ever seen a John Tron video, you should be able to I can name think of one. Four. I can think of one more. So we'll just wait you out. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, yeah. Uh, well, no, since we're tied, you go ahead. So that. Yeah. Uh, say she's in die. Oh, man, that's, that's a good one. one. I love that one. That is a good one. Okay. Um, for me, I'm going to say... And Benicula. I know Benicula is not <laughs> one, but Benicula. It does sound like... It, it could be. The concept is definitely very yeah. Einstein. Um Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, my... Is it... Is it called... My Neighbor's a Ghost? Ghost Neighbor? It's not exactly called that, but I'm going to give it to you because it's you had all the words in there. Awesome. What is it, what is it called? Uh, my... Uh, Go, uh, hold on, let me go to it. It was right here. The ghost next door. The ghost next door. Okay. All right, now it's your turn. Shit. We're both at seven, right? Yeah. Now. <laughs> I'm joking. This. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Power Champ. Oh yeah, we also don't have an episode this week, so yeah, yeah enjoy this. this. This is why we're talking randomly about Goosebumps. Uh, yeah, uh, no, no Power Rangers episode. So let's. No think. Power Rangers episodes due to the we KCAs, could. and then also we couldn't get a hold of episode eight. Yeah. That's really depressing. Um. Stop trying to distract me. I'm sorry. Uh, I gosh. felt it necessary because everybody's like, what are they talking about? <laughs> <laughs> um, Come on, man. I cannot think of any more. No? Oh, the Scarecrow Walks at Midnight. Yes! yes! Damn it. Yes! Damn it. Oh, man. Uh, 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 it, uh, so, that's, he, yeah, who, that wants who wants to call it? Who wants to call it? He won that. I won that. Agile 101. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, uh, oh, speaking you, of winning and losing, oh, was before that? you continue, you guys should have also thought werewolf, mummy, Frankenstein, and vampire. Right, but he said the werewolf of Fever Swamp. There's also a different werewolf one too. Oh, is there? Yes. What's it called? Um, shoot, I just saw was it, it My Hairiest Adventure? Because no, that's, that's a that's a dog. Yeah, well, I mean, the cover looks like werewolf. There I is one more werewolf one. I just saw it. What was Cuckoo Clock um, of Doom even about? I remember reading it was about, that book, okay. and it was fantastic. It was I just about, can't remember what it was about. It was about a kid who had a, uh, I think it was, I think he had a, like a bad birthday party, and he uh, was he was messing around with an old grandfather clock, an old cuckoo clock that. Uh, oh, how huge. to kill a monster? That would have been a good answer. That's the one I was thinking of with the gumbo and the. Set in the middle of nowhere with the two kids and their grandparents. You don't <laughs> no, know okay. what you're talking about. Sorry. Yeah. No. I. Uh, we I grew up with these books. Those okay. Books. We know yeah. them. <laughs> um, but Cuckoo Clock of Doom, and then he goes and he turns the cuckoo's head around and it starts yeah. turning back time. Yeah. 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 That was a really interesting. I, I read it was that book. It was fantastic. Book. Yeah. yeah. It was one uh, of the scarier, like Horrorland. Same thing. Huh. It was just frightening. So, but to answer your question, yeah. out of goosebumps. Oh yeah. How many are there? 62 books. Wow. That's a lot. My guess would have been 45. When was the most recent? What was, or what was it, and when was it released? 
That's a very good question. That I mean, was that, that was. That's gonna problem. be a little tough to. That's gonna be a little tough to find. But I mean, I can check. No, yeah. Go, I mean, because I know, I know he, they're still doing books, but they're not Goosebumps anymore. Yeah. Uh, uh, they're doing other stuff. Oh man, look at that Goosebumps website. Why are they not doing Goosebumps? The mm. movie's coming out. They're getting a movie. I keep telling you the same. Yes, Jack Black is. Oh, the, that's right. Jack yeah. Black's gonna star in it. Yeah, he's going to play an author who's... He's basically R.L. Stein. Yeah, he plays R.L. Stein. Um, I don't know if it's going to be named I don't know if it's going to be any good. I did see... Um, it's kind of like a Jumanji thing, so I'm going to... I'm interested. Or is, oh. is probably closer to Zathul, right? Except with better actors. <laughs> hey, you leave Dax Shepard alone. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I knew you couldn't say that with <laughs> face. <laughs> you got Dax, Jack Shepard and Kristen Stewart. And uh, PETA. Both of them are outacted by Josh Hutchison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, had anybody seen one. John Tron's video of the Goosebumps? I did, yeah. The I three worst, like, episodes. I, think I saw one. I forget what he. I remember he talked about the Harriest Adventure. I forget what. Oh, yeah, and the Haunted Mask. I like the I forget Haunted what Mask. other ones he talked about. No, he didn't talk about the Haunted Mask. Oh, yeah, that was another video Have you that seen I saw. It recently, yeah, the but the Haunted Mask, Mask yeah. I enjoyed that one. It's It still holds up. Mm -hmm. It's still really, really frightening. And the second one doesn't hold up as well for me. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Like, it's still good, but it's not as I found good it. as I remember it being. Yo. I found it. What was the most recent? Okay. Monster Blood 4. Holy crap. Jeez. December of 1997. Oh, my gosh. Was the last I didn't know one. there were four of them. I read maybe two. There's four apparently, and the the I one the last the one. one before that was, I live in your basement, and that was November of 1997. Which one was he? Because he did the Are You Alone in the Dark one also. John Tron did. Yeah. Yeah. So I can't remember which ones he talked about there and which ones he talked about on the Goosebumps. It's... I know that My Hairiest Adventure was one of them. I just can't remember what the other ones were. Man, what is you? Uh, what do you? What would be your favorite? I guess mine. Mine would probably it's a tie between Horrorland and Cuckoo Clock of Doom for the books. Cuckoo Clock of Doom is actually a really good read. My favorite of the series is The Haunted Mask. It's so the Haunted good. Mask like, is pretty solid. I, so I really have the... a hard time finding like yeah. character flaws or like so, flaws of in that episode. So here's something interesting. After Yo. the Goosebumps, the original series. He went on to do Tales to Give You Goosebumps, which lasted from 1994 to Oh Wait, no, he did The Haunting Hour recently, didn't he? Yeah. Like a couple years ago. Oh, and then like he that. did, uh, like after, the, after that series, he did Give Yourself Goosebumps from 1995 to 2000. And then, oh, there's a lot in there. Holy crap. Uh, Welcome to then, Arl Stein's uh, Jobography. Yeah, the and podcast. Then, and Goosebumps, Goosebumps Presents, which I'm pretty sure that's where it, That was the series, the TV show. Okay, uh, yeah. And then uh, we have a bunch of other stuff, autobiographies. and. Other I was kind of disappointed. All provided by Wiki, hour, thank you. <laughs> oh, Wiki. You're not reliable. I don't not at all. Um, but it's the it's, best I could do. It's semi-reliable. It's okay. Um, no, oh, I, I say semi because people like me exist and will alter your Wikipedia page. <laughs> uh, I'll yeah. be the dick to just like That's you know true. fuck you over. I have uh, I have not made any alterations to your Wikipedia page. Okay, so don't look. We didn't do introductions. I just figured. Oh out. yeah, we just started talking about random stuff. <laughs> hey, we were already in a conversation. Yeah, we were already talking about we something. Were, yeah, what we were, were we talking? Um, about? Oh yeah, books. Because we don't have an episode this week. I'm Andy. Uh, <laughs> alongside Nick and Emilio, as per normal, for the Power Chamber podcast this... Uh, because we have no life! Before Easter. And happy Easter to everybody. Happy Easter. Yeah, happy Easter. Uh, by the time this comes out, it'll be after Easter, but yeah, enjoy. Yeah, it'll still be after Easter, yeah. but we recorded this as per Easter. And it'll be well so. after April Fool's Day. So anyway. April Fool's, happy Easter. Good job on your April Fool's video. Oh, good. Yeah, that Thanks. was awesome. <laughs> Which one? Both of them. <laughs> okay. And, uh, uh, well... I liked because I I immediately I, I think it was a couple I think it was after I watched episode two of Dino Charge I was just randomly on my computer and I was like well you know what I have the Mega Force theme I'm gonna watch it with the opening and see if it actually works and then that ultimately turned into me turn, making an opening and him like, getting well, so go. bored that he yeah. decided to do it anyway yeah. <laughs> yeah and then I was like okay now that I have this I guess I'll wait until April Fools to actually present it to people. It actually went over a lot better than I thought it would. I'm not glad. Because I didn't think anybody would get it. I'm glad you uploaded it. <laughs> shut up. And then uh, the, the the Frontier thing is actually fantastic. I love it. Yeah. No, it's, it's hilarious. It's one of my favorite things. Oh, gosh. Um, 
But uh, yeah, so I didn't have to make that many changes to that one. The opening for Frontier. Oh yeah, no. I, I figured all you had to do was like speed it up some or slow it down some. No. No, really. I just had to move some things around. Uh, I thought you slowed some things down. Did I did not. No, you I didn't? didn't slow anything down. It's, well, that's it's, actually pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, that uh, that Frontier with the Dino Charge theme video, they mm-hmm. that that one is definitely sped up quite a bit. Mm. Oh, okay. But just just a step, really. But anyway. um... We only have an episode this week, so I'm gonna we're gonna talk about some Sentai stuff. Oh yeah! So, oh, you guys got Sentai talk. Well, we do have Sentai talk. I uh, I got approved by one of my instructors to go ahead and do my research project. Oh, nice! I'm talking about adaptations, and I decided to focus on from Zeo Ranger to Power Rangers to MMPR. Yeah, yeah. And so for I've those, been for those of you who don't know, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is not an original American TV show. It was adapted by, from Japan by a guy named Haim Saban uh, from this from this other Japanese TV show, uh, Sentai TV show called Z Ranger. Sorry, I didn't mean to step on. No, it's fine. I, I didn't want to say all that, so yeah. you know, go for it. Okay, uh, I mean, but um, that's we're not original. We're American. Yeah, we're America. We steal <laughs> everything, but um, we're just a giant uh, potluck. We yeah. have ideas. <laughs> um, what should we steal from? Hey, this office show is pretty good. Let's make thousands of dollars off it. Let's oh. make a black. <laughs> let's make a black version of Death at a Funeral. That'll go over well. Oh wow! Well, oh, well, I apologize. Yeah. I hate that movie. That's I really, fine. really enjoy the. I, I didn't. I haven't seen. English version. I haven't seen the English version. So oh, I, don't, I don't hate the uh, the, the black version the, as much. The, well, the Chris Rock version. I was gonna say. Oh well, because, it's the black because version. James you the English in the movie. version. And he's the only white guy there. Well, also Peter Dinklage. Peter plays Dinklage. the same character. Yeah, he's in both movies. <laughs> hey, um, look, there's this nice show in Skins in England. Oh, Let's take that and try to make it amazing here. That and keep was, none of the good qualities of that, that show. That was also, a complete fail. I've I also and never, ever seen The Office. I watched one episode of Never the seen Office. it. Never seen the American Office ever. Never well, I, I watched... I've not epi- seen any of I watched it, an so. episode of the... I, I watched a couple episodes of The American Office and I didn't really like it that much. And then I watched the one episode of the British Office on Adult Swim one time, and em- emphasis on the one time because I, I well I think it was funnier than the American Office. It's still not. It's still not, it's still not tea, that good. So, the yeah. format is weird. Like yeah. it's that Parks and Rec thing. Like I would get behind that show. Like if it was a sitcom. Okay, I got I watched like two episodes of Parks and Rec, and I'm just like I can't do it. I can't do it. I got through at least halfway through the third There's one. Not so I mean, at least, shame. at least, I mean, at least with uh, how I met your mother, there is some pretty funny shit in there, and that is what's getting me through this show. Mm-hmm. Sure. Other than that, I don't think I could. I would have been. I'm able not going to say it. that the the t- comedy in TV should always be sitcoms because Scrubs is one of my favorite shows. Scrubs is fantastic. And oh uh, well, it is for, a the for the most part, for the most part. Hey, they have for the, oh okay. they had the soup not season nine didn't okay. happen. Season nine didn't have them. Season nine didn't for have Scrubs. Them. That's hey, what they had the soup Nazi. They did have the soup Nazi and uh, yeah, Lando, <laughs> Billy D. Williams. Billy okay. D. Williams. Yeah. You have no, you have no right to call him Lando. Hey, I okay. So me and Nick got into an argument. <laughs> All right. So for I, we may have mentioned it before. I've never seen the Star Wars movies, and Nick just recently said I made him sit down and watch the LOTR franchise. Most of them. Half yeah. of them. Half of them. I We haven't seen yeah. the Hobbit movies yet. Yeah. Uh, where he hasn't. I have seen them. I yeah. saw all of them. Of course and, I did. And, it, and the third one made me laugh. And I shouldn't have. Oh, okay. Oh, man. There's a scene. Okay. There's well, a don't s- tell me okay, about fine. it because I'm going to watch it. Yeah, you're going to see. Well, anyway. See. There's uh, too much context for me. So, to with. It. Oh. So, watching, anyway. Okay. Going back to the story. Oh, you go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was just saying that like while watching LOTR, man, uh, I, I think Fellowship is the best. And it has my favorite scene in the entire trilogy, which is the... Maybe in the history of movies ever. Gandalf going toe-to-toe with Balrog. That is freaking awesome. It's amazing. It's Have one you of the ever seen the LOTR ever. movies? Yeah, yeah sure, yeah. Um, it is one of the most amazing sequences. Well, you're talking to a guy who goes to the movies with his dad almost on a weekly basis. Oh, yeah. What are you seeing this week? Uh, it, we probably. I'm probably going to go see It Follows, because yes. my, my dad went and already Let saw Let me know if it's any good. My dad already went and saw Fast and Furious with uh, other family oh, members, yeah. so Fury I didn't get seven. to go. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So, and most likely it's going to be It Follows, and then I'll go see Fast 7 later. Sure. Yeah. Um, but anyway... But anyway, back to my story. Yeah. Um, I found a, an image online of uh, Boba Fett taking Frodo into Mordor to the, the Eye of Sauron. 
and uh, Nick was excruciatingly happy about it, and I was like, I don't get it. Yeah, it was it was a, it's a pretty. It's just really cool. I don't know. There's something it's like so badass art. about it. Yeah, it's fan art. It's, it's not like uh, actually. It just Boba looks so badass. Just being like, yeah, yeah, freaking got him. Yeah, but then he has to go toe to toe, toe to toe with Strider, and nobody wants that to happen. See, <laughs> I don't know if that could happen, just because he completely failed with Han, and that's something that happens later. So I won't talk about it. Yeah, I have. Uh, I have to actually see those movies. Yeah. Um, but anyway, back to the transition into something from from the Star Wars thing. But anyway, okay, I forgot. Well, I can't remember. Anyway, Star Wars. let's go back to, back the, to the Sentai, uh, Sentai thing. thing. I saw some Sentai that I'd like to share with you because it okay. irritated the shit out of me. Okay. <laughs> uh, there is crossover footage of the Samurai Rangers and the Mega Force Rangers, mm-hmm. and they don't ever do it. Yeah, and they, they don't do that a lot because, like, every Sentai series. Crosses over a, with each other. Oh, okay. They have a team of every season. That's yeah. cool. Why don't we get that episode? Be, I don't know. I honest, I honest to God do not know. I thought it was a Disney thing not to do that because they don't do it after Overdrive and they still kept the rights for like another four years. Oh. Or for like another three years. Okay. Well. Two. Two years. Sorry. Uh, and then uh, Saban got it back, and I thought we were going to get another one, and we didn't get it. Every Sentai series uh, has a, has a team up episode okay. with the previous one, and sometimes just, and sometimes they cross over with uh, Kamen Rider. Just, they just had some really cool moments that I yeah. wanted to share Absolutely. in the Sentai that I saw. Yeah, that I would wanted to see there in the are, actual show. There like, are many. Robo Knight and Antonio have a have a scene together oh, where they fight, cool. and and that's super cool. I would have loved to see that fight actually. Now that yeah. I think about it but I don't know I don't like in Antonio as a character but like I'm pretty sure his Sentai counterpart is a lot cooler yeah then again uh, but anyway yeah but SPD's uh, sixth ranger or not so like more like eighth ranger whatever the future ranger <laughs> was a lot better in the Sentai was, Omega. I think he was the... thank you yeah oh my god and that's because he wasn't an actual character in the show he was a ball of light <laughs> <laughs> he was much better <laughs> In the You've done things right. And by the way, People I didn't care, sure man. Shadow, the freaking Kruger is awesome in that show. Kruger's just a badass in general. Yes, that, that's he's like got the, a samurai sword. It's freaking awesome. I'm sorry. That's, that's like the it's one. Okay. That's like the one character they got like a hundred percent. You, you right. like lost your shit. No, like it. it's really cool because there's a there's a moment where like he's tra- he's like walking through. After, he's like trying to save his wife from being kidnapped by the big bad evil guy. And he's walking through this hallway, and the woman who's made, been making all these monsters with drawings is like drawing monsters and throwing it at him, and he just keeps slicing through every single one of them. He's badass. <laughs> that really is a pretty good scene. Yeah, you, get, you okay. got really excited about. Yeah, that. I'm sorry. He's like, like he's, one of, he's like one of my favorite characters. For guys in this who, show. Aren't, who aren't here, like if you're looking at Nick, he's really happy. He yeah. turned a bright red. He turned bright red. And started <laughs> it's sweating. Really awesome. <laughs> Breathing heavy, man. It sounded. <laughs> It's like you smell uh, cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> like the picture of that wow. cat with the wide eyes and really fat. Yeah. <laughs> Deep, heavy breathing. But yeah. Can you feel it, Mr. Krabs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my this God. is going to be a horrible episode. Anyway. This is bad. Okay, uh, so anyway. we're going off of... Well, we're going back into the Sentai Yeah, because we yeah. keep going off topic. We keep going off topic. Anyway. And further off topic, the Poltergeist trailer <laughs> was super cool. I watched uh, an extended trailer for it last night while I was on the YouTube. Why are you looking at me like that? No, continue. <laughs> we, we have uh, a horrible seriously, neck for I'm, ju- I'm just waiting. Sam Rockwell looks amazing <laughs> in the movie. Uh, they have a lot of really cool updated ideas, like with the flat screen TV instead of the big tube TV. So, uh, uh, in other news, I... Other, oh, yeah, back to the Poltergeist <laughs> you thing. God. Um, you know we're just going to keep interrupting you, It's right? all right. I'm just waiting. You're for just... What? I want to talk about the Sentai because oh, we'll yeah. talk about Zoo Ranger. Yeah, yeah. You want me to do that now? Yeah, go for it. Okay. <laughs> do you not trust us or something? I don't trust him. Oh, oh. Because I know that he's gonna like interrupt me as soon as I start talking about it. About what? <laughs> <laughs> so I've been watching uh, Zoo Ranger just to compare it to Power Rangers, and I've seen the first ten episodes. Jeez. God, what was that? <laughs> I've seen the first ten episodes, and it's actually really different. How so? Like really different. The plot is completely different from Turkey. 
from Power Rangers. What the hell? Are you making a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I'm serious. Like, the plot of Zero Ranger Chimata. revolves... <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all right. All right, all right so... Um... Back so, to the Sentai. Yeah. All right, so Z Ranger revolves around a certain theme, just like the Mega Force Rangers. Apparently, they're angels. No, what, what the idea is is that like 170 <coughs> million years ago. Nice. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. 170 sorry, million. Done. Whatever. 170 years. million years ago. Yeah. On the Earth. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. 175 million years ago, there was this civilization where... He, well, it's said in the show that humans lived with dinosaurs. No. And there were all these, like, human tribes that lived with dinosaurs, and each of them had a champion. Because it came out in the 90s, and that was a popular opinion. <laughs> and then uh, an evil witch named uh, Bendara Rita. came down and started wreaking havoc because she wanted to destroy humanity. And so five warriors, or no, no, the five guardian beasts of the tribes, which are the Zords, uh, and the five warriors stopped her and sealed her inside of the dumpster and sent her off into the distant planet, well, not distant planet, but the planet Nemesis. And there she's reawakened in which presence. Which is supposed to be the moon. By the, the yeah, yeah. By the, uh, by the astronauts who land there. But they kind of knew that she was going to come back because when they sealed her up, she said, no, you're only, uh, you're not stopping me. You're only inconveniencing me at the point, at this moment. And so they decided that they're going to go, they're, the five warriors are going to go to sleep also until she gets, she gets awakened and then a wizard's going to wake them up oh, and then so they fight. Rita doesn't mess around in the Sentai. That's not true. No? Yeah. She's very... She actually messes around quite a bit. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Darn. Also, the whole make your monster grow thing is the spell incantation that she does in the Sentai is all the evil spirits of the earth possess this one creature and make them grow giant. Oh, that's actually pretty interesting. Yeah. yeah. And also, the Megazord's called the great, the Guardian Beast God. <laughs> okay. The yeah. Battle mode. I yeah. want to know what they call the the tank. Yeah. It's called the uh, uh, battle tanker. Dino Tank. The Battle Tank or Dino Tank? Oh, well, yeah. of course it is. Yeah. It's a really weird, awkward name like that. Is it when, I want to see when Titanus comes in. And also... I want to see when the Dragon's Sword comes in. And also, you know that the the, uh, the Yellow Ranger in the Sentai is a guy. Is a guy, right. In, at least in Season 1. I think they... Did they switch it over for Seasons 2 or 3? Well, it's... They don't have a second season in Sentai. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they, one they just have they just have fifty episodes, yeah. Oh. And then wait, but the character in the Sentai, his name is Boy, which I find hilarious. That's pretty hilarious. And then there's there's Boy, who's the Yellow Ranger, uh, May, who's the Pink Ranger, uh, Goshi, who's the Black Ranger, Geki, who is the Red Ranger, and Dan. Dan. <laughs> yeah, Dan. 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 And he ruins everything. <laughs> Damn it, Dominic. I was like, damn it, Dan. Stop ruining things. <laughs> Stop ruining things. Though, admittedly, he doesn't do that many terrible things, but he's like... He's very... I don't know how to describe him. He's very... Obnoxious? Yeah. Okay. How? Do, how? Like... like well, give us give us an example. I You act like we've seen the show. <laughs> he does got a point there. Well, because, like... There, there's this scene in where they're just walking around him and Ghost, you're walking around and... Uh, he's like just hitting on a whole bunch of women. Oh, and he's and goes. Oh, so he is. Goes, she's telling him he's like, no man, you can't keep doing this. We have a mission to protect the Earth from this evil witch. He's like, dude, we've been asleep for a hundred seventy million years. I want to get laid. I want to get laid. Yeah. <laughs> one hundred seventy million years is a long time. To, that is a true man will, right there. They will give you such a crick in the But neck. yeah, he just <laughs> good job. There you go. Uh, but he just ruins a whole lot of things and and. He just is very kind of annoying. Like Chase? Yeah. Okay. That's, a, that's a pretty good a frame of reference. Like Nobody likes Chase. Or Dominic. And also, the whole thing with, you know, the, the two-parter that they have in Power Rangers, the Island of Illusion? Yes. That is actually an entire plot. Uh, the whole island thing is where they get the weapons in the Sentai. Oh. Yeah. Huh. The, the 
bow. Yeah. And the power axe and everything. Yeah. The Which power is weird because they call it they they because uh, they have their original weapons and then they end up getting destroyed. And also, King Sphinx is not nearly as cool as he is in Power Rangers. No. Yeah, because in the Sentai, he's a guy who just uh, he's like the Riddler and he goes around and just riddles and tells kid uh, riddles to kids and then if they don't get them wrong, he just blows them away into trees so that when humans cut them down, they'll die. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty brutal. It is. But it, it's kind of weird because he, Environmental like, he like starts quizzing the rangers when they're in the Megazord because he's like, I'm going to stop you. And then they trick him because they're like, man, if, if, if he asked a riddle about where his weak spot is, we wouldn't be able to answer it because he'd be the only one who knew. And then he tells them. And then they destroy him and it's pretty awesome. Pudgy Pig is actually cooler than he is. In the but Sentai. it's weird because he's like this ancient beast. And he's just, and he's been eating a lot of stuff, and the only way that you can stop him is by using this one root, uh, this one herb. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That well, was that's used the by, the... that was used by, like, Odys- Odysseus. Okay. So they, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of Greek and, like, Christian mythology in this. Well, I mean, well, I mean... think back in the day, there was a, you couldn't, like, cross the street unless you were, like, full-on Christian... Well, yeah, I know. But I, I just didn't think it was in, like uh, in Japan, though. That's they're also very, they're very religious down there. Hmm. They're incredible. Well, yeah, religious, I know, but, but I, I just don't know what their religion is. So, like, because there's there's an episode. What later is the on... overall religion? Is it Buddhist? Because I feel no, like... no, it's not no, Buddhist. not Buddhist. That's Chinese. Not even. No, Buddhist is literally like really low on the scale, but that's like a choice. Buddhism. Mm-hmm. People yeah. follow the Buddhist method, but Lisa's but... a Buddhist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but w- what's your point? How is it not a religion if it's a religion? What? He's saying it's not a religion. I want to know what the fuck he's talking about. I'm not saying it's not a religion. You said it, what's like if it was the main religion down there, which it's not. Okay, well then Google it. <laughs> but anyway, ah. to the internet. So, yeah. <clears throat> don't don't try to trick me here. All these <laughs> all, all the episodes, or at least like the first, I want to say the first eight, are just a collection of two parters. And all of the episodes focus on Bendara doing something evil to children. Wow. It was actually, like, first on the list. None of them. None of the none of the episodes that I've yeah. seen of this show have focused on the Rangers as actual people, except for Geki, because he's the Red Ranger. And it's also really weird, because he gets... He, like, goes into... His, he tries to go into the, into the, the Guardian Beast Tyrannosaurus to fight... The giant King Sphinx. And yeah. the the Tyrannosaurus just blows him away. He lands in this mysterious land. It's a wasteland. He finds all the bones of his friends. And also destroyed Tokyo. What the? And the Guardian Beast tells him, This is what's going to happen if you guys don't, you know, quit your shit and yeah. become a team. <laughs> so, just remember that. So you need to be a team. Here's what it says. But uh, most people are folk Shinto, which are not religious. They're, apparently. Oh. Okay, so okay. The atheism is the folk Shinto. Uh, yeah, okay. folk. It's like folk, folk people and folk Shinto. Shinto. And oh, so that Shinto. means or not religious. Yeah. Now a quarter of it, like that's like fifty percent, and then like a quarter of it are are kind of Buddhism. As I'm looking, I was reading it here. Uh, they uh, like fifty to eighty percent like can they. They pray and worship ancestors of, of their own families and gods, mm-hmm. but they don't necessarily follow all in the ways. But, you know, yeah. that's just about... Any so they're just a variation of Buddhism. They're a variation. It's still Buddhism. Yes. Just like um, the LDS and the the other one. What's the other one? Ugh. SLDS Christians? or something? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> but uh, but uh, then, like, it, then Christianity is a small part and the rest is, like, mm-hmm. no answer. Yeah. Well, I mean, because, like, there's there's mythology with the Garden of Eden in this show. Like, I can say I'm Mormon, but, I mean, I don't have to follow in the Mormon ways. Or anything. Right, yeah, no, so, I, yeah. I am definitely a Norse. <laughs> Norse? <laughs> anyway, uh, what was I even talking about? That's the only way I'm going to be Prince able to get my funeral the way I want it, dude. Is if I, like, Viking legally funeral? become a Norse, like, follower. 
and okay. have it in my will. Yo, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna have a Viking funeral. Religion. That's what I want. Okay. I either you want, want to that one. Shoot an arrow and burn your body. Yes. Envelope? Yeah. That's I what I want. I want I will to be literally do that. <laughs> yeah. I will do that. That scene was fantastic. I'm, yeah. So, but, but, um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I either want that one or I want to be put into a pod. Have you ever seen these? You can become a tree. They put your body into a pod and they plant the pod with a with a seed and a bunch of fertilizer and stuff. And then as you compost, the it feeds the seed and it grows into a tree. That's weird. Also very interesting. I dig it. I, I it's recycling. Yeah. Till they shut you down. Da- Till they chop you down. Yeah. Well, then they, they use you again. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's just weird, man. <clears throat> I think it's weird. I am gonna be a C again. plus science paper someday. C plus. <laughs> yeah. C plus. Uh, you don't want to try for at least a B minus in this country, not at all. <laughs> so in also, uh, video game news that I've been oh, playing, okay. that I've been playing, I'll cut you off. Man. What have you been? Playing? So there's this game called um, Life is Strange, and if you know, it's like it's. Have you ever heard, uh, seen, or played any of the Telltale games? I have heard of them. Okay, it's like that. You choose your dialogue and choices in the game it's and an rpg uh, sure and it'll very it'll vary your ending mass sure. effect oh yeah okay or uh, fallout kind of, yeah and so um new vegas it's like like this <laughs> it's, it's all story based oh yeah right. i played it fallout did have new vegas i forgot about that mm-hmm. yeah so it's all story based uh but this one's by square enix oh and uh, does it's a lot of i think it's by square enix anyways it involves a, a girl who can uh time travel uh, like she uh, wakes up in class, uh, she was uh, she was in the future, and she sees this giant tornado heading towards town, and then she wakes up in class, and just uh, doesn't realize what happened, and then uh, she goes to like the goes to the bathroom, sees this girl get shot, rewinds time, and realizes oh shit I can rewind rewind time, hmm. so uh, they just the like, seconds effect. Yeah, so they... Do I still have that? Yes, you do. Damn it. I have not read that book. So... I'll, I'll you should you. Yeah. I'll so throughout this entire idea. game, you could uh, rewind time and do uh, different choices and whatnot. And what you... And um, it's pretty interesting. Because they they're releasing the episodes on a monthly basis. Oh, yeah. So I just, I just played episode two. And it's weird. The girl that got shot, you saved. And apparently you guys were friends like a long time ago. And you just moved back into town. And so apparently, it's weird because this it follows a lot of Indian mytho- mythology, which is why I cut you off. Oh, okay. So, like uh, your main character is represented by the the doe, uh, the a girl, deer. You, mm-hmm. a female deer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the person you save is represented represented by the blue butterfly and a bluebird. And so, uh, I thought it was a green finch and a linnet bird. <laughs> and so what? it's a music joke you wouldn't understand <laughs> and then one of the other girls is represented I, so bad for I do feel bad for you <laughs> is represented by a uh, squirrel let go of me Nick it's squirrel? okay this is a, a safe squirrel. place what this is a safe place <laughs> okay we care about you <laughs> I don't, it doesn't sound like you do <laughs> we care about you Nick no <laughs> got that crazy look in your eye Speaking of crazy... Oh, yeah. That's what I was going to say. So, Goldar doesn't talk in the show. Huh. He just growls. Yeah, yeah. He growls all the time. Oh. And then, uh, Finster's actually a smartass, which I I love. Because he's like... He's like one of those guys, because he's make, he makes the monsters, so he's like, this has to be perfect. It's a piece of art. Yeah. Beautiful. And, like, the first thing that he says when she goes in, she's like, make me a monster. He's like, you see what I'm doing? <laughs> You see what I'm doing? <laughs> I've been whacking off this statue. Yeah. Oh, and also, um, Squad and Babu hate each other in the Sensei. Nice. They're so annoying, man, in the show, yeah. in, in MMPR. Uh, well, I'm under the imp- impression that uh, one of those people plays Wretch in Dino Charge right now. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. And that's not true, though. I looked that up. It's not true. It's not true, but it sounds like it. And Yeah. <clears throat> It does. I'm not sure how to feel about that. Uh, Especially given the whole Zed and Rita um, relationship that we have with yeah. uh, I would Sledge love to see, see Zed in, in the Sentai, but I know that's not going to happen. Yeah, no, he's an American-made villain. Thank you, America. 
for Yay. giving us a good villain, an, an original villain, an original idea, an original design, an original character with original footage, and and go go good on you, America, for thinking Doing outside the box. Yeah. <laughs> but when I finished the show, what what is America uh, giving us? Um, titanium Ranger. The Titanium Ranger. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Huh. That is true. Hmm. And also us... the Spirit Rangers. That's non Sentai. Really? Yeah. Is that real? Yeah. That's super cool. Yeah. Oh, I didn't man. know that either. I, I was listening to Julio's podcast and he, he said that. Oh, I was actually went and watched by the way, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not to be confused with Julio's podcast. This is not that thing. <laughs> this is, I think uh, we're well past, like, we're like 30 minutes in. So you know, this is, way we're so thrown off in. without a new episode. We're totally going out of order of everything. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> Check out the review at uh, my friends I hate slash YouTube at my friends I hate slash uh, what Power review? Rangers oh. episode seven review uh, slash dot com. Yeah. <laughs> what <laughs> slash dot com? Oh, slash but, uh, dot com. I watched some of his stuff and that was it's actually pretty damn interesting. Yeah. Yes. He needs to join us. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's weird because like uh, I had, I put out like an episode review for Ninjago. Ninja. Like last night, last night. Last night. And this morning, I woke up and the first thing I got was an email from him, talking about, "Oh my god, I love this show." Yeah. Here I talk about it on this podcast, and he sent me a link. And I don't care for it. His podcast was literally the the episode that he had linked me to was literally commenting on the thing that I hated the most about that episode, <laughs> <laughs> which was which I thought was hilarious, which was the whole uh, J Cole and Nia yeah. thing, which I absolutely hate. Um, why do you not? Well, see, I, I, I still, I still off... contest. You have to watch the first season. Come on. Okay. All right. Well, I at watched, least watch the first season. I watched the uh, specials that you told me to watch. Yeah. And uh, they just didn't grab me. They're not as good. They're definitely. They're, they're not the dialogue as good as they is used very to be. cheesy. Yeah. It's not, and not in a good way. Like Power Rangers. Okay. Where they can be cheesy, but not you know. Like be what? Terrible. Like what example? Like Coda's lines. Literally everything Coda says. <laughs> okay. Shelby drink like camel. Well, I mean, like, for, for Ninjago was what I was saying. Oh, dude, you don't know how long it's been. Uh, yeah. Oh, everything with Lloyd. How about that? Okay. That's true, but he's like, he's... He's really annoying. He's like six or eight. I don't actually know his age. <laughs> he's young, is all I know. He's a kid. Is that why his voice sounds so weird? That's why he sounds like he was ten years old. I don't know why I'm a little British boy all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. <laughs> that was weird. That was weird. So uh, back to the game, by the way. Okay. So, the Indian mythology, they're all represented by an animal. I have come up with uh, a theory, because apparently the girl that you saved, like, in the... Are you like, a fox? <laughs> no. What does the fox say? <laughs> God damn it. So <laughs> apparently by the... I would be a fox. Apparently, um... Really? Just because I can't be a unicorn. Dude, the courage of the wolf. <laughs> so, so down. Yeah. yeah. Be a fox. <laughs> but uh, but apparently Billy piloted a unicorn sword. <laughs> That's awesome. It is awesome. But apparently, my theory is since it's the girl you saved is off. represented in, represented by the blue butterfly and the blue bird, uh, every time you save her from death, which has been almost like three times now, the in two episodes in the two episodes, yeah, literally three times. Um, every time you stop her from dying it, from. Every time you try to stop the timeline from fixing itself, pretty much, mm -hmm. like she was supposed to die, you're just screwing everything up, and which is why every time you see a tornado coming to the city, Ooh. you're disrupting the the, the time, flow, flow of time, time flow of time. So it's the MK9 effect. Yeah, uh, pretty much. I apologize, Nick. So you gotta um, roll your ass every time. With but this see, like, there's like, did you hear what he said though? But How did you hear the words? That's like every time travel thing. But that was I mean, brought up in Days of Future Past. That wasn't brought up in End of Time. But the End only of time thing had nothing to do with that. Exactly. So don't tell me every time travel if you don't know. Yeah, but there's like that's other. Doc, that's and that's a movie for Doctor Who. Yeah, that does not count. Oh my god! Hey, but the only thing because that, I, the, that the makes this, of, you know what? The only thing that makes us like, the like theory, what point. makes it more establishable. Like, stuff that you did in the past that you did to save other people. Like, one of the girls got hit with a football right in the head. Like, if you say, if you made her get away from getting hit, like, in the next episode, uh, she would be hit with a TP in the back of the head. Uh, toilet paper. 
Okay. So, so it's like the timeline is trying to fix itself, but you just keep fucking everything up. Mm-hmm. Things are supposed to happen, and we're screwing it up. That's exactly what Mortal Kombat 9 is. I need to find Riley Rewind and watch no, it. No, you I don't. We need it. to talk about Mortal Kombat 9. Wait, you haven't seen Riley Rewind? No, I completely forgot about it, honestly. I thought it was actually pretty interesting. It's sad I, that we'll never, ever actually get the finish it. Don't change the subject on me! He was Mortal, talking! Hey, Mortal yeah, Kombat 9 is shit, it'll always be shit, and we're just gonna end it there. That's what you think. <laughs> it's, it's actually amazing. It's really good. It really it's, a, it's incredible. By the way, did, but you I also, see, did you see in that uh, Shaolin trailer for Mortal Kombat X, the Kung Lao? Yes. When he's fighting Raiden? Yes. That's Donnie Yen. <laughs> yeah. Like, he plays Kung Lao. Yeah. Like, they just shrunk him down and put him in the game. No, like, look at the way he's fighting. Oh, okay. He fights like Don. He's as quick as that guy. I agree. It's awesome. I really like the plot for MKX. But back to Mortal Kombat 9. Because you... You. What? So what? I told you. Here's quit, the problem. I okay. told you to quit so playing MK9. To, yes. Yes. Did you play the story mode? Yes. Okay. Then you know what I'm talking about. For those of you who don't, Raiden get, sends a message to his younger self, all Wolverine style, and uh, tells with only three words. He must win. That's it. That's all he says. Doesn't specify anything. Uh, I won't spoil anything for the game, but that's, you, you go through uh, the tournament from Mortal Kombat 1. You go through a lot of different trials from throughout the other games and stuff like that, and uh, you just keeps progressively getting worse. Raiden knows this because his amulet keeps cracking. After every victory. That is true. Thing is, you when you mess with the timeline, you fuck shit up. It's true. That's why so many by the way, are dead. If we haven't That's been... why the plot for MKX is. By the way, for those who haven't been watching Flash, he did the time jump Yeah, already. I heard about that. Already? <laughs> and it was amazing. It was I just, it was, it was like a, it was a small Also, one. the Mark oh, Hamill okay. episode aired... Did it really? Yeah. Huh. I haven't I haven't seen anything past the time of since. Oh, okay. Don't say anything. I know they're like, Where is well, it? Is I it haven't watched Hulu? the show, so I can't really say anything. All I know is that it happened. That's Is yeah. it on the Hulu? By the way, uh, as long is as we're talking about... Yeah. Is it on Daredevil? What? No. Daredevil is on, on Netflix. Netflix. Is it on Netflix? Yes. Is it on now? No. no. It's on next next Friday. Next Friday? Yeah. yeah so what time? At, at like Friday. Is it next Friday? <laughs> like Friday. Yeah, it's April 10th. I got an email. Yeah, you, it's next Friday. You owe McKenzie an apology. What are you talking about? That's an off mic cam conversation. Why do I need to owe McKenzie an apology? You lied. What do you mean you I lied? lied? to everyone. I have to do the Playfest next week, dude. I cannot be doing stuff. What are you going to do for what? Because uh, there's this thing that the theater department does on EdTech where oh. it's a 24-hour Playfest where a whole bunch of actors and directors and a script writer get together and they pretty much just make a play and they have 24 hours to make it and perform it. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. It's pretty brutal. Yeah. I couldn't do it. (laughs) I could do it. I would totally be I'm sure you can. I have done it. I would never do it. Yeah. I would screw shit up so bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's... It's... Yeah. Yeah. It's... it's, So... You you know how much work it takes to be entertaining? Like, seriously? How much energy, how much focus it requires? Um, you want to know how much focus I don't oh, have for that? I <laughs> absolutely know how much focus you don't have for that. That's, that brings me to another Like, my so. attention span is like this. So, Wait. apparently, uh, we're, so this is going back to the whole TV talk with the Flash and whatever. Uh, the Constantine may be coming back. Woo! The One of the producers, Daniel Cerrone... Had apparently tweeted that he uh, that near the end of April they're gonna pitch ideas for season two to NBC and they're gonna decide whether they want to pick it up or not. Okay, so they. I just think it'd be a good idea. I think it would. It's gonna. Be it's, a it is a good idea. I mean, it, I think they're. Go- I think the show is good. I really do. They it's need to re-release it on Hulu it. so that people can watch it because I want to see. Yeah, it. I haven't finished it, so don't say anything. When did you get? Oh yeah, that's right. You stopped at the. Mid-season finale. Mid-season. Okay. Is it still there? Yeah. I don't actually know. Is it? Okay. That's still there. Okay. Um, but the thing is... The I first just... episodes aren't. The, the first half of yeah, season Yeah, the first like four episodes are not there. there. Yeah, they delete them like every other week. And that know, bothers right? me. I, I wanted to see those, but... Uh, yeah, you can find them somewhere else. I always do. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, piracy is a crime. We we never do that. Yeah, no. No, that, that never happens. 
Pirate Bay, no one was never. I think you guys are lying. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, man. You're going to blow our hamster secret. Uh, blow our hamster. Also, uh, the only bit of movie news that I think is uh, really... Yeah, that worth talking about. Any kind of worth talking about. The the whole uh, Deadpool is Deadpool. now being rated R. Oh, oh, yeah, because Ryan Reynolds said something to somebody. What did he say? He made a whole video where he pretty much, the, the guy that was interviewing him was like, oh, it's going to be PG-13 and all this stupid stuff they wanted to do. And he was talking about it being in continuity with uh, uh, X-Men Marvel Origins Wars. Wolverine. Oh, sure. And then Deadpool Ugh. just comes up and kills him and then says, it's going to be rated R, motherfucker. And that's the end of the video. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Right. And then also Casey Jones. Yeah, Arrow. Or yeah, they're gonna. They're Arrow, thinking the about guy making... who's playing Arrow right now, Stephen Amell, is gonna play Casey Jones in the next Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. They and this is my worst so fear. Good already, I told you. What do you mean? They casted him so good already in the in the Superpower Beatdown. That's true. John Morrison is gonna would make the. Perfect Casey hey, Jones. Hey, I already told you how I felt about Casey Jones being in this next movie. I told you how I felt about uh, this. Can you remind me? Because I don't remember. I said it should not happen. Well, I mean, because he's supposed to be in there and Bebop and Rock said he was going to be in there. It really? Should not. Yes. yes. Huh. Well, that's that's more of a rumor, but uh, oh, okay. the, the Casey it Jones thing should not over. happen. Why is it's that? not ready. They're not ready. They're not ready to yeah. have another uh, team Oh, member? you agree with what Black Nerd said. Oh, okay. Because Black Nerd was like talking about how when they were coming with, out with the first movie, they were like, we just really want to get to know the Turtles, and that way, you know, when we get to know these characters in this one movie, then we can start building and adding more characters around them. And he said, if you saw the first movie, you know that didn't happen. Oh, okay. It, they're, just, they're just not ready. Once they add Casey Jones, it's gonna be Megan Fox. In Casey Jones. Yeah. Who's directing the uh, MMPR movie? Do we know? I don't know. Well, I know. Hold on. We just it's, it's just, on IMDb. I know. It's I know just that. not the right dynamic. I uh, just not yet. At least. Oh yeah, it was. The as guy much as I did. love to see Casey Jones, it's just not right. Although Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is back to being on the top again I just due to Donatello sure dying in the comics. Yeah, I did hear about that. Did you not hear about this? No, I didn't hear about Donatello that. Donatello was apparently killed off in in the comics recently. Why? Not the not the cart, not the Nickelodeon comics, the actual uh, IDW comic. That one, yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, they killed Donatello, and it was actually uh, Bebop killed... and Rocksteady who did it. Huh? They killed off my favorite turtle. So I have the comic. So okay. So apparently... Donatello could kick the shit out of Leonardo. I don't care what you think. Okay. So here's what happened. I don't care. Apparently, while yeah, we're MMPR fans, while Raph, Mike, turtles. and Leonardo were going off to fight Shredder and the Krang during this war, they left Donatello to watch over the base with the robot turtle, which I forget his name is. Um, and oh, Metalhead. There you go. And so they're watch they're watching over the base, and then Shredder knows that the tur the three turtles are coming, and he knows Donatello is left at the base by himself. So he orders Bebop and Rocksteady for if anything were to go wrong to kill Donatello. And they successfully do, do it. Damn. Yeah. They like literally. It's like break, super brutal. Like I saw the panel. Like they had like this giant thing, and they broke his shell open, and it's like all bloody and everything. And he's dead. They said they're not bringing they're not, him back. They can't bring him back. Like there's no coming back from that. Yeah. Like then the yeah. next comment, they just straight up said, "Yeah, we're not bringing him back. He's dead." Damn. That's hardcore. It's pretty brutal. I mean, uh, when they actually keep to keeping him dead, that's pretty yeah. amazing. I'm yeah. still gonna keep an open mind because it's comic books. Yeah. And they uh, kill well, they don't kill him for very long, so... What yeah. was the noise? That would be my phone. People want me to message them and talk to them because they have no life. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Anyway, back to the story. Uh, that was not related to me in any sort of way. The uh, Teenage Mutant... I just wanted to make sure that Michael Bay wasn't the one directing the MMPR movie, if no, that's okay with you. Uh, they don't have a director. They haven't got one. No. Oh. They have writers and they have producers. Who would you like to see write or direct a movie? I don't know. I want whoever directed Because Edgar Wright, Endgame. I think, could do it. I don't think he would, though. I don't I don't think Edgar Wright could do it. Probably not. But um, I I want the guy who directed Endgame to, uh, oh. to direct the movie. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a different thing. Well, that's not... That's also the same guy. I think it is the same guy who did uh, Brock is Back, and I love the camera shots. Yeah, that, that one. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so... 
Probably that guy. I would. No. Yes. Can finish. Finish. Can Probably I help you? Guy. Okay. We are on time. We are on oh. time. Oh. So. Oh, we're running over. Yeah. Well, okay. So, last minute comment. Any comments? No interruptions, damn it. <laughs> that was pointed towards Alejandro. Um, <laughs> Nick, geez. any last comments? Well, uh, since we're at mid-season uh, for oh, Dino course. Charge, I'm going to review the the final episode, and then I'm going to actually move forward with the reviewing uh, Ninjago, because I'm super behind on that show. I think my, my episode 29 review came out yesterday, and they're already on their 44th episode, so... I am crazy behind on that show. Alejandro? Oh, um... I'll go ahead and plug the Hot Pepper video, because that's going to happen pretty soon. Oh, yeah, soon. when is that going to happen? Because I, I still need to do that. I don't know, because I've been trying to get a hold of Coleman. Uh, he's he's going to provide... He messaged me. He's like, when is this Hot Pepper thing happening? Oh, when, when so did today. he message you? Like, yesterday. Oh, well, because I told him that we want, we wanted to do it... Uh, before we we recorded this, but he and so he was like, okay, I'll uh, talk to my brother and see what I can if he can. Well, get if we have, if, we, if I have to, I'll go buy one tomorrow and do it here. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Okay, so we'll do it sometime this week. Have it uploaded before In a blue dress. No, well, I'll, you don't have to do it. I already <laughs> decided I'm not dressing up. Blue dress. So I'll, if I have to, I'll upload it myself. And I'll I'll, I'll I can get it. somebody to braid your hair. It won't <laughs> be a problem. We're not doing this. But, He's uh, already made his choice. He can't just not change his choice. Well, he is the winner. (laughs) (laughs) I need to say something. So, since I can't do the Cinderella review, since I gotta wait for that, so I decided I'm gonna do the review for Aldenodo Zero for that show anime. That I like. I apologize for checking that review out from under you, but it's gonna be super funny. That's that's What are you gonna... Do you know... Well, I guess we'll talk about that off mic. Yeah. Yeah, you guys will discuss that. So, yeah. yeah. The technicalities. Yeah, so I'll be, do- I'll be doing an anime review, so I'll be looking for that. Yeah. Keep an eye out. Um, um, so... And keep an eye out for for my channel, eventually, that'll... Yeah, when the hell, the hell are you going to do something? Well, I, I feel like it's about time I did uh, some of the music stuff again. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually a musician um, for a lot of... Play, play the instruments and, and do the vocals. So uh, we'll uh, talk more about that off mic and uh, figure out a, a release date for that. But uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and plug the channel that doesn't exist. But um, but before I go, I got one thing to add. Go. Uh, so the Less Than Famous panel winners came out, and oh. I was not one of them. Darn. But I do recommend checking out some of the guys' channels. These were some of the guys I was actually rooting for to win. Sure. Three of them at least. Yeah. The other two, I had no idea who they were. I couldn't find their videos anywhere, but they probably uh, hid them. Yeah. They didn't want uh, other people to see their auditions, so they, there's an option on YouTube to hide the video to where mm-hmm. if only you have the link, they can watch it. Yeah. And then there's private where nobody can watch it unless it's yeah. you. So, uh, but uh, if you guys want to know who the winners were, go to Tumblr and... Uh, uh, VidCon, uh, look up VidCon and uh, find their Tumblr page, and you can check out the winners. Go check out some of the YouTube pages, and uh, I have. Oh, uh, sorry, that just reminded me of something. So what's up? Uh, JDF had apparently come out today and was like, "Yeah, we're gonna be airing season oh, yeah. two of My Morphin Life on uh, a new television station." Have you heard about this? No. Um, Con TV. Nice. Yeah. What doing. And Con then, TV is the uh, thing. it's going to be near the end of April, like April 24th, I think is what he said. And he said that the Ryu video should come out before then. <laughs> I'm wondering if that's what set, set it back for so long, was the... Oh, it's kind of a rights argument between Con TV and Bat in the Sun. I don't know, man. I feel like if it was Saban approved, then Saban would have been like, I told them they could, leave them alone. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, but anyways, that's it for the Power Chamber podcast. I am Signing Emilio. Off. You can find me on Twitter at my friends I hate or on YouTube at my friends I hate all one word. And uh, I make YouTube videos, reviews, what you should be watching, TV, movies, and anime. And uh, that's pretty much it. Nick. Uh, yes, I am Nick, aka Iron Man nineteen ninety three on YouTube and Twitter. As stated before, I 
recently put up an episode review for episode 29 of Ninjago. Uh, and also, look forward to this rambling nonsense, because we won't have an episode uh, after next week. Yeah. How <laughs> long is the hiatus? Five week? months. Five months? Yeah, we'll yes. start up till back the... Jesus till Christ. Yeah. Right. So, like, sub- we'll September. We'll get creative. We'll yeah, that yeah. means we'll you do better another... be working on some Lego Ninjago videos and everything. I am going to be doing that. That's, that's We need to get together and make some shit uh, happen. Oh, yes. yeah. Absolutely, and this hey, is the um, ice chip. We'll talk off camera about that. Oh, Stay cool. I've got all the heat that you need.